The throttle position sensor is one of many sensors found in modern cars that are used to help the engine run more efficiently. The throttle position sensor communicates with the engine control unit and helps it adjust the air-fuel ratio, the traction control, and the cruise control. That means it can cause a lot of different problems. Common symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor are hesitation, rough idle, surging, stalling, and transmission shifting issues. A check engine light is also possible, but it doesn't always turn on. Some of the more subtle symptoms are poor fuel economy and frequent misfires. One, car hesitates to accelerate. The throttle position sensor basically tells the engine control unit, ECU, what the driver is doing with the gas pedal. The engine control unit then adjusts the air-fuel ratio, and it can anticipate a change in airflow a lot faster. But when the throttle position sensor is bad, the information it sends will either reach the ECU too late or it will be incorrect. That means the engine control unit has to rely on the mass airflow sensor and the oxygen sensor to adjust the air-fuel ratio. All that takes a lot longer, and the car might even slightly decelerate until the ECU catches up. That's caused by a briefly lean air-fuel mixture until it reaches the oxygen sensor in the exhaust, which reports the condition to the ECU. It's important to mention that this same symptom is caused by other faulty sensors and parts. Those include the injectors, the mass airflow sensor, the oxygen sensor, the coolant temperature sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, and others. That's why it's important to investigate the issue properly if this is the only symptom you notice. Two, rough idle. One of the most common symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor is a rough idle. The ideal air-fuel ratio is 14.7 to 1, but it varies. At wide open throttle, the ratio is richer, and at idle, the ratio is leaner in order to save fuel. When the throttle position sensor, if faulty, it will sometimes report to the ECU that the throttle is slightly open when in fact it's fully closed and the engine is idling. That causes the ECU to enrich the air-fuel mixture, which in turn causes the idle speed to drop. After that, the car becomes shaky, it vibrates a lot, and it seems like it's going to stall at any moment. At the same time, the signal from the throttle position sensor can become erratic. That causes the air-fuel mixture to swing between rich and lean. Each time the mixture becomes lean, the idle speed will surge for a couple of seconds before it drops, and that repeats every 5 to 10 seconds. This is a very similar symptom to that of vacuum leaks, only in this case, the surging intervals are noticeably longer. And this same surging can be caused by a bad mass airflow sensor, although it's very rare. Three random surging while driving. If you notice that your car spontaneously accelerates while driving, the throttle position sensor is the first thing you should inspect. The surging is caused by an erratic air-fuel mixture that swings between rich and lean, as we mentioned earlier. Another thing that can cause this problem is an electronic throttle body found in almost all modern cars. The throttle position sensor is usually integrated into the electronic throttle body, making all the symptoms much more severe. It also means you will have to replace the entire unit, which is considerably more expensive. You will also notice that the car doesn't respond to gas pedal inputs the way it did before. In other words, the gas pedal is essentially out of sync with the throttle body. For example, you open the throttle by 10%, but the car accelerates as if you have pressed the gas pedal halfway down. In some cars, this is a common problem that's under under a recall, so it's worth checking that before you spend money fixing it. You can do that online, or by contacting your local dealer. 4. Frequent stalling. Stalling is another extremely common problem with a bad throttle position sensor. That is again caused by a bad air-fuel mixture. The throttle position sensor will report that the driver is holding the gas pedal slightly open. The ECU will then enrich the air-fuel mixture, and if it does that too much, the engine will stall. That's because fuel needs air to burn, and if there is not enough air or too much fuel, it won't ignite. It essentially creates the same effect as turning the engine off. This sometimes happens gradually, where you have time to prevent the engine from stalling by punching the gas pedal. But in other cases, the engine will die in less than a second without showing any symptoms before that. But other things can cause this same problem. Those are the alternator, an old battery, other faulty sensors, a bad fuel pump, a bad ignition switch, and others. Scanning the fault codes before replacing the throttle position sensor is the first thing you should, and then test the sensor with a multimeter to confirm. 5. Gear shifting issues. Shifting issues due to a bad throttle position sensor only apply to vehicles with an automatic transmission. The transmission control module, TCM, uses the throttle position sensor inputs to adjust the shifting time, select a gear, and decide when to shift. The more you push open the gas pedal, the faster the transmission shifts between gears. It also holds the gear longer, and it might select a lower or higher gear than necessary. You might also think that the transmission is stuck in gear because it refuses to upshift. And if the transmission shifts into a gear that's too high for your moving speed, the car will shake, lose power, and possibly stall. 
These problems too can be caused by other faults. For example, the transmission speed sensor, a bad transmission control module, faulty shift solenoids, and low transmission fluid among other, less likely issues. 6. Check engine light. A check engine light is fairly common when the throttle position sensor fails, but you will only get a check engine light if the sensor is out of the designated voltage range, or if it's completely dead. That means the sensor can still send false information to the ECU without triggering a check engine. All of the symptoms we mention here will likely happen before the check engine light pops up. If you see a check engine light, consider yourself lucky, because it means you will most likely get a definitive fault code. The fault codes referring to the throttle position sensor are P0120, P0121, P0122, P0123, and P0124. Each of those fault codes refers to a specific sensor circuit fault, but replacing the sensor is the solution in each case. 7. Poor fuel economy and performance. Any issues with the air-fuel mixture will directly result in poor performance and poor fuel economy. We mentioned earlier that the air-fuel mixture ratio for the most part determines how efficient an engine is. With a richer air-fuel ratio, the fuel doesn't have enough time to burn or doesn't ignite at all. That means a lot of the fuel going into the combustion chamber will be wasted. In extreme cases, you can even smell raw fuel coming out of the exhaust. This will also increase exhaust emissions significantly, and the car won't pass a smog test. As for lean air fuel mixture, there isn't enough fuel going into the combustion chamber. That leads to slow burning air fuel mixture, which converts a lot of the energy into heat instead of expansion. In other words, it also wastes a ton of fuel. Again, these symptoms can be caused by other issues like vacuum leaks, a bad coolant temperature sensor, a bad oxygen sensor, a bad MAF sensor, and other components. 8. Misfires Misfires are not that common with faulty throttle position sensors, but they can still happen due to poor air-fuel ratio. When the air-fuel ratio is too rich, there is a chance that there won't be enough oxygen to burn together with fuel. That causes an intermittently dead cylinder, a flashing check engine light, and shaking. At the same time, when there isn't enough fuel, the mixture burns slower. In extreme cases, the fuel will still be burning as the exhaust valve opens, which causes exhaust backfires. And backfires also trigger misfire codes. Those codes include a P0300, random misfire fires and P0301 to P0312, which indicate a, a misfire on a specific cylinder. Misfires can also be caused by the same sensors we mentioned a few times already, plus ignition system faults, fuel system faults, and vacuum leaks. Cost to replace a throttle position sensor. How much a new throttle position sensor will cost depends on the car, where you buy it, and the production year of the car or the type of the sensor. Standalone throttle position sensors, as found on older cars, cost between $30 and $150, with the average price being around $60. You can also expect to pay for around one hour of labor, which is another $100. That makes the total average around $160. You can also replace the sensor yourself and save some money that way. And then we have throttle position sensors integrated into the electronic throttle body. In those cases, the whole throttle body needs to be replaced. The average price of an electronic throttle body is $250 with $150 on the low end and over $500 on the high end. Replacing the throttle body also takes around one hour or $100 which makes the average cost $350. Replacing the throttle body is just as easy as replacing a throttle position sensor, but it's different. How to replace a throttle position sensor? Locate the throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor is virtually always found on the throttle body on the opposite side of where the throttle cable attaches. To get access, you might have to remove some engine covers, hoses, or the intake boot. Remove the throttle position sensor. First, disconnect the throttle position sensor and then remove it. The throttle position sensor is held in place with two bolts. Some sensors have a wide hole in one of the bolts to allow adjustment. Make sure you take a picture of that before you remove it so you can install a new sensor in the same position. Install a new throttle position sensor. Installing a new throttle position sensor is just a reverse procedure of removing it. The only exception is adjusting the position we mentioned earlier. Once the new sensor is in place, start the engine and let the car idle for a few minutes. Turn the engine off and then take the car for a drive to allow the new sensor to recalibrate. Testing the throttle position sensor using a multimeter. The throttle position sensor is nothing more than a simple potentiometer, which means testing it's fairly straightforward. All you need to do is test the wires on the connector to find identify them and then probe the signal wire. After that, turn the ignition on and move the throttle body by hand while monitoring the multimeter. To summarize what we talked about in this video, virtually all of the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor are shared with several other faulty sensors and components. That's why relying on symptoms like hesitation, stalling, poor fuel economy, and others is not 
safe. Instead, scan the fault codes, test the multimeter by unplugging it, and then test it with a multimeter to make sure. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.